come back to Simbright Fashion Academy YouTube channel for another interesting tutorial. In this class, I'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful cow kaftan without a pattern. Please stay tuned to the end. To start off this tutorial, I'll be making use of one yard of lacquer fabric. So this lycra fabric is always good for cow necklines like this. You can also use chiffon, satin, crepe, as you wish. But whichever fabric you want to use is the same method. So because I'm making a sleeveless cow neckline, here I'm using only one yard. So if you are making a sleeve with it, you can make use of two yards. So the fabric here, I'll show you how you are going to manage it. So it will be enough for you. To make this cow neckline so here I'm going to take the measurement of the one yard this is the yardage part a yard is 36 as you can see so I have about 36 or there about so I'm going to fold my fabric on the yardage part like this so when I fold it on the yardage part like this this is what I'm going to have so I'll just arrange it. We are going to cut out. First, we are cutting out the, the back dress. Then we are going to use the back dress to cut out the front dress. So after arranging my fabric, the next I would like to do is to take the measurement of from top to the end of the fabric which I'll use for the back. So here you can see I'm using 26 inches, okay? So I'm going to start imputing my necessary vertical measurements. I'm just making the back cow neck first, then after which I'm going to make, use it to create the front. So here I'll just mark my border line just through a border line like this so I've ruled my border line as you can see I believe you have seen my chalk line there so the next I will take from that line is my measurement so I'm taking the vertical measurements as usual when making a top the first measurement you are supposed to take is your chest line so my chest line is 9 inches. Of course, you know, chest line is your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5. So I always have my bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 at 8 inches. That's my result. So if I added 1 inch, that will make it 9 inches for the chest line. So because you are making a sleeveless top here, instead of using 9 inches, I don't want the armhole to be too open. So I'll just go ahead and remove half an inch. So I'm marking my chest line at eight and a half instead of nine inches. So this is my line for the chest line, which is at eight and a half. Next, I'm going to take is my waistline. So the waistline is 17. So I'll mark my 17. And the full length of this top is at 25. So you can go ahead and make it 26, but I'm trying to manage the one yard of fabric we have here for tutorial purpose. So after marking all these lines, the next I will do is to impute my vertical measurement. So the first, sorry, my horizontal measurement. From the center back, I'm going to take my neckline at three inches. After taking three inches width, next is one inch for the depth. So you just go ahead and connect your neckline. So I just connect it like this. Then after connecting the neckline, I'll place my tape at that center front and mark my shoulder divide by two. So my shoulder divide by two is seven and a half because my shoulder is 15. 
So I'll mark seven and half. Normally, I'm supposed to add half, half an inch, but because I'm making a sleeve less, you don't need to bother adding it. So I will come down from that by one inch for my shoulder drop. So I bring in my ruler and I'm going to connect the shoulder drop like this. So after connecting it, I'll pick up my shoulder divide by two again seven and a half place it on the shoulder line on the chest line to get my armhole so i'll mark the same uh, seven and a half and then connect it like this all right so after that is done the next we want to do is to get the midpoint of that shoulder so i'll just fold my tape like this and mark the midpoint from that midpoint i'll come in by half an inch to connect my armhole so this is half an inch so at that half an inch i'll go ahead and connect to the tip of the shoulder drop so what i'm creating here is simply my armhole okay so after that the next i'm doing is to extend i'm going to extend my chest line i believe you have seen my chalk lines okay because this um fabric is really uh, not showing the chalk very well but i believe you are following what i'm doing at that point so the next i will do on the chest line i'll measure my bust circumference divide by four is 10 inches i'll add one inch for my sewing allowance so i'm going to connect the bust to the the armhole to the line of the chest line so i'll just go ahead and connect it like this so after that i'll come over to the waist line so here is my mark for the waist line so on the waist line i'm going to measure my waist circumference divide by two by four is nine and a half then i'm going to add one inch for my sewing allowance then I'll connect what I have from that one inch sewing allowance of the bust to the to the hip. So after connecting it to the hip, I'll come over to the hem, which is where the sorry to the waist. I mean from bust to waist. So on the hip line. I'm going to take my hip circumference divide divide by 4 which is 12 and I'm going to add 1 inch seam allowance then I'll complete my body's drafting right now so you can see we are done with the back bodies drafting. So here I'm going to cut out what I have on these bodies. And that is what we are going to use to cut out the front. So for the uh, front piece now. I folded the remaining part of my one yard, okay, the way I sh demonstrated to you how to fold it. So the remaining part of it is still unfold. So this is the center front area. So the first thing I'm going to do is from the upper piece, just measure 12 inches. So this 12 inches is not constant. It can be 13 inches, 
it can be less depending on how you want the cow to fall so just mark 12 inches so after marking that 12 inches i'll come on the line of the 12 inches and i'm going to mark another 12 inches so just make a square to it like this so this square i'll also go to the tip and mark to make a square a full square you mark 12 inches and then you connect the 12 inches like this okay so i believe you saw the square i made here now from here to here so after making that square the next i will do is to bring in the back pattern we just drafted now so here is the back piece of my fabric so i'll place it according to how we drafted it make sure it matches with the center front and center back can you see so make sure it matches like this so once you are sure it is touching the line of these 12 inches the next we are going to do is to mark out make a line of the one inch you know that this is our one inch seam allowance so just make a line of one inch seam allowance so after marking this one inch this is one inch where we are going to stitch have our seam allowance stitched then i'm going to rule my line this is the tip of the shoulder just make a straight line here okay or just use your ruler as a guide and continue this line to match up with this line right now so you are going to see why we made this line so for the front neckline just uh, for the front armhole you know the front armhole for cow neckline is not uh, actually like this so i will hold it on here and lift up the back just make make it touch here and just hold it down don't allow this part to shift so you can see what i did i just did like trying to pivot it okay so you just pivot it a little bit but making sure it touches here and it touches this point before we redraw our armhole so i'm going to redraw the armhole right now from here sorry about this chalk i'm actually using but if you are following my hands you actually understand what i'm doing here okay all right so after marking the armhole the next we are going to do we'll put it back we are going to put it back the way it was before since the armhole has been marked can you see so we have the armhole right now touching this part so the whole of what we have on this line is going to be the pleating we are going to make right now of course you are going to see how we are going to do that so the side remains the same of course i'm just going to cut it out for you to see so after tracing it out because it's the front armhole this is the midline so normally when we are making front armholes you know it's always deeper by some inches than the back armhole so i'll just go in by a quarter of an inch that is 0 0.25 and redraw the armhole so i'll bring it a little bit deeper from that point and then 
blend it back to that point. So at this point where we have the tip of the shoulder, just keep your ruler straight and create a mark right here. Okay, so that is where the shoulder for the front is going to be connected from. So I'll just do what? Place a notch to determine the shoulder line. So the next we'll do is to take off the back and we are going to use our bias. I'm using my bias to finish the armhole neckline. And from here, I have my notch. I'll finish this part. Then for this, I'll just fold it in and top stitch on top. So here is the armhole. This is the part that we are going to pleat. And this is the body's part. So I'll just use one side to demonstrate this. Then later, I'll also repeat the same thing. So this is the upper part of the cow neckline. So you just fold it in this way first. So if you want to make pleats, this is what you are going to do. I did not run the, the I did not hem this part because the fabric itself does not frill. So this is what I'm going to do. If I want to make pleats, I'll pick it up from here. I'll just go this way, that way, that way. So as I'm pleating, I'm making sure that my pleats are equal to the sleeve or shoulder line. So this is the shoulder line. So whatever I have here from this point, I'm going to take the measurement. So you can see is actually matching up very well. So I'm going to secure that part with my pin because that is how I'm going to sew it. So since I pleated on the wrong side, I'm supposed to pleat at the right side. So I'll just take it this way. So I'm going to repeat what I did there again since you have understood what I mean. So here, you just go in by like one inch, then you begin to do what? Pleats. You begin to pleat like this, okay? So it depends on how many pleats you want to make. You might even decide to make gathers. You might decide to just pick it like gathers like this. So whichever way you want to pick it will still have give you the effect, can you see? So I'll go back to the machine now whichever one I want to make that is good for me. If I want to make pleats, I'll just pick it using description. I'll pick it like that. So the most important thing is to ensure that what I have on my pleats is going to match is going to match my, this is my armhole. So once it gets to this armhole, you secure with your pin. Then whatever remaining, you match it up. Can you see? So make sure it matches up like this. So you go ahead and secure with your pin. So I'll just pin it, hold the pleats. All of them just hold them and stitch so I'll go over to the machine now I'm going to stitch at half an inch I'll repeat the same process for the other side so here I've stitched at 0 0.5 so this is the pleats I made so make sure your pleats are even so the next will be this other part and this is the part at which we are going to start the pleating so I'll also follow the fold and also pleat accordingly. So you can just go ahead and pleat the two ends, okay? You can go ahead and pleat the two ends so you have it even. But for me, I'll just go ahead. I believe you understand what we are doing. The most important part of this tutorial is the cutting.
because I know many of us know how to go about this because it's trending. So I'll go over here and make sure I pleat to the same extent and I'll stitch at half an inch. So you can see I'm done sewing them on the neckline. I've pleated them on the neckline. So here is the result of my the neckline. So you can see the cow effect is already showing itself already. So it's there and it's there already. So I will now close the, the sides. I'm going to close the side and close the side and then hem the damp part of the dress and we are done. I'm done sewing the sides. So you can see what I have on my cow drop. So the 12 inches we took as a square, you can do 13, 14, you can do less, 10 or 11. It depends on how much pleats you want here and how much drop you also want here. So you can see how it was looking on my body at the beginning of this tutorial. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends, drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.